Hi guys, in today's tutorial I'd like to show you how you can do the first steps of building a guardian farm. So removing all the water inside and outside of an ocean monument and getting rid of the ocean monument itself to make this a spawn proof area where no guardians can spawn and you can then build a super efficient guardian farm in the center to get all the prismarine and sea lanterns that you need to build nice stuff in your base. So I'd say let's get started with the tutorial. The first thing that you should do once you found an ocean monument is actually going inside and getting rid of the elder guardians. Therefore I recommend using a water breathing potion and an inv invisibility potion. You can still wear one part of your armor and they won't see you. And uh, then you should go and get the sponge from the sponge rooms. Because with the sponge you can start to dry out the inside from the temple. Therefore I recommend starting at the very top of the temple and uh, just placing the sponges in kind of a random order to get rid of the water because once you've got the top room here cleared you can use this uh, to put down your furnaces to then uh, dry the sponges so uh, you can get them over and over again also you can make an exit to the top and like this you can continue until the complete temple is without the water. The reason why you should do it at the beginning is quite simple because once you cleared all the water at the outside the only place where the guardians can spawn is the inside and then this temple here will be a quite hostile place. As soon as the inside of the temple is dry we should take care of the outside. This will be a big task so here I have some tips for you how you can get rid of the water at the outside. First up I recommend to place a wall around the entire temple so you can work safely on the outside to build your uh, yeah, wall around it which should hold back the water and therefore I would go to two blocks diagonal from each corner of the temple so you have one space here and fill that in with some sand. I'm using red sand for this but of course you can use any sand or gravel that you like because this is just a temporary material. And once the wall is in place it should look like something like this and as you can see we've got one block gap here on the uh, inside and if you know the hitbox of the temple you might say now okay we can uh, put or guardians can spawn up to three blocks around the temple and um, we want to build a wall around the sand wall that should be then our wall that we keep in the end because we can just reclaim the sand then. And I'm going to use uh, some glass here because I think that it looks quite awesome with some glass but of course you can use any material to hold back the water but working on the outside with the sand already in place is, is much safer because you can swim down or dive down without uh, being shot by the ton of guardians that are sitting in the inside in your uh, yeah, area of the temple so this is really safe to place and uh, then you already have your wall that you want to keep in the end in place. Next of course we need to get rid of the water in the inside and therefore I looked into some techniques, tried some stuff out, what you can do for getting rid of the water and we did it on New Rio though that we filled in um, bit by bit like going in slices and then getting uh, the sand from the back always uh, back and um, I now think that it's better to use sponges and therefore I recommend to um, put in some walls so you cut off a 5x5 five five area. So this is now a 5x5 five five square with water and then you should take a look at your F3 coordinates and look west and east because if you uh, know where west and east is you can place one sponge in the west, one sponge in the east and then going down by three blocks and repeating this west and east. And I don't know why this is so orientation related but if you do that always in the west and in the east you can get rid of all the sand in this area without placing the sponges in a random pattern so like this it's really easy to uh, reclaim them Whoa, that was wrong uh, because you can just um, dig down from the top to uh, the bottom and um, then yeah reclaim all of your sponges and now you can see that this is already dry and uh, what you can do then as well is uh, reclaim also the sand here in the corner because this is not holding back any water anymore so you can use this to put in the next uh, square and um, then you will end up with a pattern here. 
um, where you have then always five block gap, a send or a send wall, then five block gap, send wall. And like this, you will end up with a spot in the end where you have uh, two send blocks next to each other. And we don't want that because in the end, you uh, really have to put in a lot of send. So what I recommend is putting a uh, two thick wall right in the center of the temple because that is the place where you have to use uh, the least sand to fill that in. And um, then with this pattern, uh, if you fill all the sand in in the beginning, which I don't recommend, you end up with a quite great pattern. Um, and of course you can do it uh, this way. So you fill that in, get rid of or take back the sand, fill in the next one, get rid of the water, get rid of the sand and so on. But over here, I will show you now how it looks if you fill in all the sand in the beginning, of course, that would take out way too much sand. But as you can see, we also got the two thick wall over here on this side and then also here. And uh, this is now already cut into nice uh, yeah, uh, squares. In total, we have an amount of 100 squares here. It is um, five by five each of the corners. So in total, four times 25. And um, then you can just, um, yeah, get rid of the water in all those. So um, if you do that, um, we will see that um, for me, it will go down in all of our um, yes, squares at the same time. But um, that is uh, how it will look then. And you will be uh, left over with some sand if you have still some of the squares left and you will be left over with the temple. And of course you can reclaim the temple then. And uh, so um, you can then just get your blocks back from the area that you just, um, yeah, where uh, getting the, the water out of. And um, then if you got rid of the temple, got rid of the sand, uh, we come to the bottom here, which is at around Y30. And uh, maybe you'll also have some spaces over here where you still have then uh, stone to dig away. But once you are down here, and for me the chunks need to update, uh, you'll be uh, yeah, done because uh, you will have your area that is uh, completely spawn proof for guardians. We still got the guardians down there, but they will despawn. And uh, then the last thing that I recommend is filling in a layer of water at the bottom so you can't have any slime spawning. And then you're good to go to build your guardian farm. And I will link now two guardian farm designs in the description. One that I already did, which is a smaller one. And for the next week, I will record a uh, bigger guardian farm with more spawning spaces, which is even more efficient and has an item elevator already built in for the shards. So uh, look out for that in the description. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to clear the water or how to clear the temple. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. So until then, have a very great day.